Thanks, Marty. Chris and Marty, again, an absolute joy and pleasure to be with both of you. And you're quite right. I really do wish that some of our conversations were recorded because the topics and the tangents that we go off into are phenomenal. And these are the conversations that I'm hoping that founders affiliates are having with them, with each other, with their own friends, with their groups of people as well. Based on the notes, based on truth, based on where this is possible, and the size of the iceberg that on passive is. I know most of you know this, but I'm going to say it because I've already received some questions about it. The commission withdrawal emails will only be sent to those who have put in for a withdrawal. So if you have not requested a commission withdrawal, you will not be receiving a corporate email. But if you have, please remember, Ash said yesterday, to start checking your own mail, AI email address, your OES, and then also your alternate emails for the message that's coming from the financial platform so you can do their KYC. It's not the unpassive KYC yet, it's the financial platform that we're still using at this point. It needs to be done and it needs to be done in a timely fashion so that it can keep and stay with the flow of the withdrawals. You don't want to delay it for yourself and you don't want to put the company in delay mode either. So watch for those, but only if you have put in for a commission withdrawal request. The other thing is, if you are sitting around waiting and thinking, well, when do I start withdrawing? How do I do a withdrawal? Take a look in your back office, click on the withdrawal. And it's only once you submit it that it can go through and maybe create a hiccup. But you can go through quite a few pages of everything in our back office to learn and see what is required. Now, many people still believe that on passive is going to do it all for you. But there comes a time where we do need to become connected and we need to take responsibility and step up to the plate and do for ourselves. These withdrawals are one of them. Each country, each bank has got an international code and you will see this information in the withdrawal request setup. So what you should be doing at this point is go to your back office, look at the withdrawal section, learn the terminology of what the company is requiring for you to fill out to have it done properly. This is if you're wanting to withdraw to your banks. And then write those words down and the terminology down and contact your bank, contact your financial institution. Ask them what these codes are. <clears throat> Because Chris doesn't know them, Marty doesn't know them. Frankly, the corporate side of things knows it from their side. They don't know what we need to have to put it through for our banks to receive it. And I'm pretty, pretty sure that nobody or very few people are going to be contacting any of us to ask how to spend your commissions. So you're going to receive them, but you need to know how to receive them and how to receive them properly. So it's time to start stepping up to the plate. This is your business now. And there's nothing that Chris Marty and I can do or say and you don't want to look at it that way. I have my business, Marty has his, Chris has his, and all the others, 1.4 million plus positions and accounts are individual businesses. And if you own more than one account, you own more than one on passive business. So start getting familiar with what you need because when these commissions start being dropped into the back office, there's going to be a huge rush of questions. How do I do this? How do I withdraw? How do I get this out? Start doing these sort of steps now so that you know and understand what is needed. Very simple. Go into your back office, look at the withdrawal section, write down the terminology of the codes that are needed, and go and speak to somebody at your bank. They have all of this. They do international transa transactions all the time. The other thing is, OConnect and my own passive business has cost me zero dollars. How do I get to this? I paid $143 to activate. I've been in the company for five years. So 143 divided by 60 brings it down to $2, less than $2.50 a month for my potential use of OConnect. Divide that by days and you're down to less than 10 cents a day. But if you have one person who purchases their 
position of OConnect under you, you've already received that payment back in your commission file. And hundreds of thousands of people have received this already. That means that your own passive business is free. We've received the refund of the $97 placement that we paid. Hundreds of thousands of people have received the commission of their first purchase returned into their wallets. And there are still thousands of people who are going to receive it with the next drops and the next bits of information and commissions that will be coming to us. Understand this, we are paying nothing to have our own passive business being done and built for us. This is huge. No other company that I have ever been with or seen or heard of has ever done this for their affiliates or their people involved with them. So let's start to realize the importance of what we have and be proud. We don't need to know every detail of how much the company is spending, exactly what the company is doing, what country it's doing it in. Know that they are working on our behalf and just how amazing this is all coming together. And they will tell us what they can, when they can, if they can. Another thing to be aware of, if you're just getting involved with your business and on passive, or if you've taken a break and you're not sure what's going on, a very simple and easy way is to go into the back office, into the update section and read the notes, post webinars, post on passive 360s. Janet, Daryl, Dan and Peter have done amazing, amazing jobs and taken time to write notes out for every single webinar that Ash has been a part of. The notes are all in the back office. And if you really want to know where we are at now and where we are getting our information to say, remember when Ash said or what we were told, go back to September, actually go back to August of 2023, just before the gateway opened in September of 2023. It's not a lot of reading. It's interesting if you want to know what's going on with your business. The notes are easy to read. Pour yourself a cup of tea, cup of coffee, and go through them. It's like reading a book that you're interested in. This is the history and the story of where on passive is going. Ash is giving us the breadcrumbs through all of these messages and the webinars. It's all there. And then once you've done that, when you've got your questions, ask because there are lots of people who can help you. But to get a question that says, well, tell me what's going on, it's not easy to recap in five minutes. So this is where, please be responsible, know what's going on. These are our businesses. And it's time now, if you haven't done this already, to stop just throwing questions of, well, I don't understand, I don't know what's going on. Listen to the information that's been given to you and read the notes in the back office. It's really that simple. Again, people comment and ask questions and say, how do I get people engaged? How do I get people excited about what's happening? You know what? If they're not engaged and they don't want to be right now, let them be. Let them sit idle. Let them wait. Because you want to stay positive. You want to stay excited. So it's not a case of ignoring them. If you've tried and you've spoken to them and they're showing no interest, that's all right. They may or may not in the future. So. Turn your attention to helping those who are engaged, who do want to be part of the excitement, who are excited about where this company is going and what is happening. Also remember, this is going to happen in divine order. Everything will roll out as it is meant to be. It's not on our schedule. It's not on our time. Life continues. Births, deaths, illnesses, accidents happen whether or not you're part of Unpassive. On passive is not the cause of it, on passive is not the uh, result of it, and on passive is not the resolution to it. On passive is going to be there to assist us in so many ways, but it is not the, the guiding force of our life right now. Our investiture, our investment in this is emotional, less financial, and more togetherness of humanitarian and coming together in prayer and and love and caring for each other, as well as in support of a company that is going to prove to the world just what is possible in a way so different to what and how all these other businesses have been done and created. So don't get caught up in other people's negativity. 
don't worry about what other people are thinking and saying. We don't know what they're thinking. We don't know why they're not involved in it. Some don't believe. Some are waiting and saying, prove it. And when they start to see things happen, they may or may not become engaged. But again, the same advice, go to the back office, read the notes, and you will start to understand where this is all going. Lastly, remember, please take pride in our company, stand united in how we spell our company name. On passive is all capital letters. And please have the courage to gently identify and take it to the person who spells it incorrectly, that they need to change it and correct it. We are global. We are out there in the public. On passive is being seen by governments, uh, divisions, professionals, companies of all different levels around the world. If we cannot even spell it properly, who are we as representatives of this company? I'm sorry, I don't feel that it's right that we cannot do a simple thing as in spell on passive correctly. Maybe I should say, because we've learned that if you say something to please do something, people don't do it. And if you say, please don't do it, they do it. So maybe I should say, please don't spell on passive correctly. <laughs> but you know, we want to be part of on passive in the best way and show our best foot and the best of what this amazing company is. We know it, we're part of it, but we need to help those who don't understand and don't see it the way it is meant to be and will be coming out more and more. So please help people to be a part of this amazing company. And I would also like to say thank you for all the prayers and all the kind, beautiful messages that I've received. My sister Simone and I are so very, very touched by all of your outpouring of love and generosity. And just thank you so much. To be part of this company, to be part of this with all of you is very, very special. And to have been here this morning with Chris and Marty is again, just so amazing and special in terms of friendships that have been created and people I've met in this company. Very, very special and mean a lot to me. We're so full of gratitude. So have a wonderful day, everybody. Marty, I give it back to you. And we know that Chris is going to be looked after today and they need to take care of him and keep him there as long as it's necessary. So he's strong enough that when he does leave and goes back to the RV, he can cope and manage on his own. Thank you everybody for being with us today.